is interesting to note, isn't it, that the debacle surrounding the ongoing feud, some might say, the family fallout between His Majesty the King, Queen Camilla, the Prince and Princess of Wales, and of course the former royals known as Harry and Meghan. Well, whichever day you look at it, there's a new drama. But it was interesting on that particular picture that we saw Meghan Markle re-emerging once again from that Greta Garbo existence of hibernation. Once again, she managed to include a piece of jewellery which very graciously and kindly His Majesty the King had bestowed upon her, worth thousands of pounds. Of course, the media say this is a sort of peace offering, saying that she's supportive, etc. Well, you could look at it one way or another, couldn't you? It's almost a teasing factor, saying, look what you gave me and look what I walked away with. Either way, you have to make your own decisions on those particular pictures. But what's interesting and now what's emerging is, despite not really stepping out and saying anything negative regarding that now ridiculous book, which has been proven to be something of a catastrophic disaster, not just for the author, but for the publisher too. Lots of publicity, but not lots of sales. Megan has decided, and as ever we have to say allegedly, to leak this out. You'll read about this over the next couple of days. As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Neil Sean here in a rather windy, dark, dismal, of course, wintry day here in London town. Always nice to show you what the weather's like, though, and I love the way a lot of you told me, yes, it's going to be cold here. Just, I think the warm bits are the best. I know. Well, you know when you're suffering from the cold, you always kind of think, I know it makes me a bit jealous that you're in the basking sunlight. But also, I'm thrilled for you. But knowing, of course, the clock stands still for no one, and of course, it will be coming round my way within a couple of months. Interesting here, though, is really the sort of debacle, as you think about it, as I say, with Harry and Meghan. Because if you remember, earlier this year, Prince Harry himself had to attend the historic coronation of his father. And uh, what a day that was, when you think about it. You know, May, a beautiful sort of starting out sunny day, lots of rain, and then finally, cheering up in the evening but of course it was history in the making history that you would think you would like your children to be part of but no no Prince Harry and Meghan Markle decided that they were going to relinquish that particular wonderful opportunity. Really, some might say because apparently it was Prince Archie's birthday and Harry had to dash back for that and Meghan didn't feel particularly comfortable coming over to the UK, so everybody else suffered. You get the picture. But what's interesting here now is that you will read about this in the next couple of days. Meghan apparently has relented and at least let Archie and Princess Lily see Grandpa Charles, literally, in all of his regal glory. That's right, she's not offering the opportunity to meet in the flesh or over Zoom, as all those ridiculous reports keep coming out claiming. But no, apparently recently she sat down alongside her husband, Prince Harry, to watch the coronation and its full spectacle. Now, apparently this was because, yes, Archie wanted to see Papa actually at the coronation. Yes, your own father sat alone amongst all of those people. Now, quite how you explain this in many years to come remains to be seen. But it's a strange thing, isn't it? There you have this wonderful spectacle of historical value and significance. You could have been part of it, and that could have been something that your children could have been part of. And the only way they get to see it is when you decide to sit down and rescreen it in that Montecito mansion. Either way, you have to wonder exactly who advises, and as ever we have to say, allegedly, on these PR twists and turns. But one way or another, at least His Majesty the King can know that perhaps, maybe one day, maybe one day, that of course Prince Archie and Princess Lily might have some idea exactly what he looks like. Is this a thawing of the ice, or once again, another PR stunt? As ever, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.